Welcome back everyone. Today I'm gonna to be using a surgical grade operating microscope to show you guys exactly how silver fillings are removed. And then I'm gonna show you what we do with the tooth after the filling's been removed and how do we fix it. So without further ado, let's jump right in. When a silver filling begins to leak or there's decay underneath, we need to make sure we remove it in order to solve the problem. The thing you need to understand about silver fillings is that they're actually mechanically locked in place. So yeah, I could go ahead and just try and drill it all out, but it actually makes a little bit more sense to split it into multiple pieces so that each separate piece is no longer locked in place. As you'll see, once I complete a couple splits here of the filling, the first piece will just dislodge naturally. There it goes, and there goes the second piece. There's the third, and before long we have the rest of the silver filling out. Now invariably there's a few little pieces left behind, so we have to get those out as well. Now what's left underneath is a couple silver pins in the bottom left corner there, and also some soft decay. So that decay is really important to remove because it's infected with bacteria that can cause problems with the tooth down the road. So I spend some time removing all the decay. Now keep in mind that not all of the dark stuff is actually cavity. Some of it's healthy tooth structure that's just been discolored because of the silver filling. With so much of the tooth missing and a cusp already gone, a direct filling is not the best option for this tooth. So we're going to elect to put a crown on it. But just like a strong house, we need a good foundation. So we're going to put a foundation in now. We're going through the bonding process to make sure that the foundation we do put in is nicely secured. The foundation comes out in a fluid material, but as soon as we set our light on it, it actually becomes rock solid. I like to make sure that the first layer is really thin and that it covers the entire floor of the tooth. That way we get a really good seal and less sensitivity. Then I put the rest of the foundation in. Now this material sets in two different ways. As soon as I shine the light on it, it will achieve an initial set and an initial hardness, but it also sets chemically as well. So after I give it some time, it'll harden even more. Then I put my rubber dam clamp back on and start the process for trimming the tooth for a crown. Now I have another video that shows this in much more detail. So if you'd like to see that, here's the link for it. Essentially the whole point of a crown is to create a porcelain shield that goes all the way around the tooth to protect it from fracturing. Now as you'll be able to see here as I'm trimming the tooth for the crown, sure enough there's another cavity. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and then we just build it back with a little bit of fluid composite material. Now I have to overbuild it and then I'm going to make sure I trim it back to size. Now it's really important that this little mountain road I'm trimming around the tooth is really really clear because the laboratory technician is going to use that mark as the guide for where the tooth stops and where the crown begins. Then we need to get the gums out of the way to make sure that our digital scan of this tooth is perfect. We have enough room for the porcelain take that out, spray the tooth with the powder, and then we take our digital images. Here is a 3D model that we have that shows exactly that little mountain road I was telling you about. Then we get the crown back from the lab, try it in, and cement it. And we can kind of see the difference from before and after. Well, there you have it, folks. Next time you go to the dentist to get a silver filling removed, you know what to expect. Now, the whole reason I make these videos is to try and take some of the mystery and fear out of dental procedures. If that's something you can get behind, please consider subscribing to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. It helps me make more videos for you. So it's kind of like I scratch your back, you scratch mine. It's, it's a good deal. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.